So today, WHO's Technical Advisory Group on Virus Evolution met to discuss the variant B11529, to discuss what we understand about this variant and if it should be classified as a variant of interest or a variant of concern. Based upon the information that we have, particularly from South Africa, um, they have advised WHO that this variant should be classified as a variant of concern. So today, we are announcing B11529 as a variant of concern named Omicron. So Omicron uh, B11529 is named as a variant of concern because it has some concerning properties. Um, this variant has a large number of mutations, and some of these mutations have some worrying characteristics. Right now, there are many studies that are underway. There's a lot of work that is ongoing in South Africa and in other countries to better characterize the variant itself in terms of transmissibility, in terms of severity, and any impact on our countermeasures like the use of diagnostics, therapeutics, or vaccines. So far, there's little information, but those studies are underway. So we need researchers to have the time to carry those out, and WHO will inform the public um, and our partners and our member states as soon as we have more information. Once a variant is classified as a variant of concern, it's really important that we have good SARS-CoV-2 surveillance around the world, including better genomic sequencing, because we want to be able to detect this variant where it is circulating. It's also really important that studies are, under, are undertaken in the field to look at any clusters, and also the studies that are needed in the lab to look to see if there's any changes in severity, any changes in our impact on diagnostics, therapeutics, or vaccines. The Technical Advisory Group for Virus Evolution will be meeting uh, regularly about Omicron. It will take days to weeks for some of these studies to be undertaken. It's really important that these studies are done and they're done comprehensively. As soon as we have more information, we will make that information public. But it's important to know that there's a lot that you can do to keep yourself and your loved ones safe. People are concerned. The good thing is that we have monitoring systems around the world to detect these variants very quickly. This variant was detected a few weeks ago, and already scientists are sharing research with us, information with us, so that we can take action. What's really important as an individual is to lower your exposure. The measures, these proven public health measures, have never been more important. Distancing, wearing of a mask, making sure that it's over your nose and mouth with clean hands, um, making sure you avoid crowded spaces, have, be in rooms where there's good ventilation, and when it's your turn, get vaccinated.